So today is October 2nd, and I'm getting ready to go back again to work. And I want to be clear about the protests, uh, the videos that you've seen. The protest is not an attempt to harass law enforcement, uh, specifically the police department. The intent of my protest is to defend myself against harassment. So the videos that you've seen are in response to assault, threats, harassment, attempt to imprison by the Upland Police Department, and destruction of public records. And, you know, in the event that I feel harassed by the Upland Police Department in the future, I will immediately resume protesting. I still feel harassed, but I'm going to try to give them an adequate amount of time to address the issue. I've put in complaints against all the officers to the Upland Police Department and, you know, I'll be waiting for their response. In the meantime, you know, I think that uh, an explanation is necessary in order to make sure that people understand exactly what happened and what will probably happen at this point. Um, you know, what happened was I had an undercover officer come onto my post posing as a patient attempted to gain access to my dispensary as a patient and succeeded, and then was identified by volunteers as law enforcement. Never identified himself to me. You know, um, actually, I, you know, I don't want to have to repeat myself. It's already in there. Uh, you know, I'm getting off track here. The protest is what I want to talk about. One of the things that I've received a lot of backlash for is flying the American flag upside down. And I want to be clear about why that was done. You know, section A of the flag and how to construct it states that a American flag may only be flown upside down when a person's life or property is in extreme distress or danger. There is no other exception. And I want to be clear about why I was flying the flag upside down at the Upland Police Department and why you see it flying right side up at my residence. Here at my house, I do... Excuse me. Here at my house, I do not feel that my life or property is in danger directly. But when I go to Upland, California, I do feel that my life and property is in danger. I want it to be clarified that the Upland Police Department has assaulted me. The Upland Police Department has made threats against me. And the Upland Police Department has destroyed public records in an attempt to, quite frankly, I don't know what. So... As far as uh, the argument of, oh, well, if they leave you alone, you leave them alone. Yes, that is true. But to not address the issue is continued harassment. Because I still have an open threat from the police department. Which has not been retracted or addressed. Hopefully the, cl the complaint forms that I put in will be addressed appropriately. In regards to records, they, they say that they don't have records of these conversations. I do have records. And, you know, I'm willing to drop this entire situation in the event that the Upland Police Department gives me letters of intent and apology from all the officers in question so that I can say, okay, you know what, hey, this happened, big mistake, let's move on. And the, the, the more time that goes along, the uh, more perceivably irrational I'm going to become because eventually I'm going to want compensation for my time because this is going to affect my business. This already has affected my business. I have a business to run and this is greatly affecting my business. Uh, people will perceive me as, well, I don't know what. So far I've been told that people perceive me to be in connection with local law enforcement working together and this is just some guys in order to try and clear my name so that people don't think I'm working for them. I do not work for the Upland Police Department, but Per BSIS regulations, I am supposed to work with the Upland Police Department, which is something that's hard to do when they're making threats and pulling out guns and not identifying themselves, etc., etc., etc. So hopefully this video stands to uh, show my intentions. Uh, you know, like I said, the American flag, I do not feel under distress or threat of property at my own home at this time by the Upland Police Department. But when I do go to Upland, I do feel my life is in distress, I do feel my property is in distress because of threats they've made that have not been retracted. Um, so anybody that wants to argue my, my patriotism, 
this is what it says we're supposed to do when we are under distress. It says not only are we supposed to, but we must fly the American flag upside down as a sign, as a signal to other people, other American citizens. This is the correct form of conduct. It's not breaking windows, not setting things on fire, you know, not looting or rioting. This is the correct way to do things. And so if people would uh, hate me or call me unpatriotic or say that I'm not American because of that, then so be it. But you've been informed, so now you know. I understand some people are still offended by the idea, but, you know, you've been educated. You can go online and look it up and you will find that that's exactly what it says. I'm not abusing it. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say presently. Uh, like I said, I've called the chief of police, uh, Lou, Lou, Garrett, Lou Garrett, his secretary, and let her know that, you know, further protests will only result if if I feel harassed, threatened, or uh, assaulted. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they actually have to do anything. All they actually have to do now is nothing. And it would be the same as doing something because to not address the issue is to leave the issue... I'm sorry. To not address the issue is to leave the issue open. And I'm all about resolution at this point. My attempt is to resolve the issue and move forward. So there you have it. And uh, I apologize if people feel offended. But, uh, you know, hopefully given light of my situation, uh, that will stand to justify the things that have been thus far. Thank you, God bless, and um, have a safe day.